the death part, but just the weight part. They were so pure. Like, eh, the bad bugs, now nah, you're gonna die. But they were, they were so pure. I, you know what? I try to embrace my animals, but I want them to leave and go back home. Were there any classic villains who didn't get carried over? I mean, we can talk about this. Oh, plenty. I like the great ones. Plenty. Is that yes, there were some villains. There was the pirate guy. You guys remember the pirate? All right. He was he was actually a pretty decent villain. He had this parrot thing, and, and it was to his point. Yes, classic Doctor who was a bit cheesy, but it had no budget. I mean, for what they did to make a show that's been on the air for 60 years and for it to survive, I give it all the props of the work. But um, the pirate guy. There was a, how many classic Clubians are in the room? All right. Uh, Tom Baker, classic Clubian? All right. Remember the, the key to time where you had uh, the, the, oh, what's it called? The white time lord and the black time lord. Don't even get me started on the symbolic thing about that, but how they had to go around and collect the key to time. And that whole thing took up a whole season. I enjoyed that season. I liked characters like that, that even though you saw them in the very first episode and then you saw them in the very last episode, episodes were built around them. Their, their whole scheme, they were the perfect supporting protagonist antagonist. So do I ever want them to come back? Eh, not necessarily, because I think Doctor Who has their time, their hands full at the moment. But I think they carry through with the big ones, the Daleks, the Cybermen. So you don't think there's anyone essential who was missing? There's this whole essay in the book about human, uh, human villains. Um, and I know that uh, so the, the guy, Chris Knopf, played somebody in one of the, help me out here, the, uh, who was the guy who was collecting Daleks? Remember there was a guy? Yeah, that was it. It was a spider.
who, and I think they redid who well, because Christopher Eccleston, to me, I love that dude. And, and I think, I wish he hadn't been an actor and wanted to do it longer. But no, I don't want to get, like, in, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, I wish that he could have done it more, because I think his doctor was very good. But I remember different villains, too, where he was caught in the church with Rose, and, and the time things were all flying around. That was awesome. As a written episode, I think the writing has gotten better, the development of, of bad guys, because a lot of the old who were, I'm just gonna kill people and not that doctor, no. But the new doctor is, is it's far deeper, and I, and I like the depth of their characters. And so when you carry over things like Dad Ross, when you have that episode where that Dalek, you feel so bad for that Dalek. Right. Well, oh my God, my heart got ripped off. You mentioned that, and in light of what you just said, which I totally agree with you, why would, why would you watch, why would you prefer the classic film? I don't understand. The, the, so like, I don't know how many Star Trek fans are out there. My generation yeah. would be the original series. I don't even like the original series. I love, I'm sorry, I love, uh, I love TNG. Welcome to the hybrid Star Trek Doctor Who fan. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk and talk. 